Stephen, where is he? There he is. Um, good evening, everyone. It's an absolute privilege to be here this evening to celebrate one of this country's greatest actors, my good friend, Stephen Graham. Stephen has starred in iconic works in independent British film and TV across the last three decades. He rightly received widespread acclaim, including a Biffa nomination, for his spellbinding performance as Combo in This Is England. Yes. Which he then reprised to heartbreaking effect across three TV series. You will have seen him as an angry 1970s footballer in The Damned United, an intelligence officer in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, a first World War soldier in Journey's End, and a sea captain in the North Water. Last year brought his second Biffa nomination for best lead performance in Philip Barantini's single shot feature, Boylan Point, which put his fierce talent as an actor on show yet again. Plaudits aside, what really makes Stephen stand out is his integrity and team spirit. <laughs> Love you. Oh. It's his ability to be unapologetically himself every minute of the day that acts as a magnet to those around him. His presence on set is an instant morale booster for all, along with that infectious childlike excitement he has when on the cusp of a discovery. Not only has Stephen created a successful career for himself, but he's made it a priority to help others along with him. A young boy from Liverpool with a big dream grew up and made it his mission to help others just like him. It's thanks to Stephen recommending me to his, to his agent, Jane Epstein, in 2012 that I'm able to now follow my dreams and I know that I am one amongst many. This decency has been an ever-present trait throughout his career. Only last month, he launched Grassroots, giving avenues into the industry for working-class TV writers with support from his wonderful partner, Hannah Walters, and producer, Phil Temple. He also recently set up his own production company, Matriarch, with the intention of giving unrepresented talent a platform to gain experience behind and in front of the camera. Stephen is facilitating a path for those who need it, but also providing an example to people with influence of just how to use that to create a better industry. Not many people get handpicked by Martin Scorsese to appear in two of his films, the iconic Gangs of New York and The Irishman. We've seen Stephen excel as a Chicago gangster, an undercover police officer, an 18th century pirate, and my personal favorite, an Arctic monkeys clown. <laughs> Stephen, acting alongside you in help was one of my most special experiences to date. You're a master listener. Your superpower is your ability to surrender, to dive into the abyss with your arms outstretched and always land firmly with your two feet right in the present moment. I will never forget watching an episode of Gogglebox and someone reclined on their sofa, sat up, remote control in hand and said, ooh, this has got that Stephen Graham in it. It's gonna be good. Um, and I don't think there's been a truer word spoken. Guys, we are so blessed to have him in our industry. To know him is to love him. Please welcome to the stage the incomparable Stephen Graham. shaking. Um, thank you all very much. Um, this is a huge honour. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely overwhelmed. Uh, I don't really know what to say, but I'm just going to give it a go and see. Um, a long time ago, a little kid was sat in the back of a class uh, doing English. I'm not that good at English because I'm dyslexic, but they put a film on. Remember the big tellies that they used to wheel out? And they put the video in and they pressed play and it was Kez. Uh, and it blew my mind, and it transported me to another world. My head was spinning, my heart was, 
was pounding um, and this young boy from this little place which I had no idea where it was or what he was saying or anything I suddenly had this connection with him um, and I learned all these things that I'd never really experienced before and that was my journey with British independent film um, and all the feelings and all the emotions that I had watching that film I had it the other day watching Scrapper me and the missus on the couch wow what a film what a beautiful film. Um, so I just, there's a lot of people I want to thank. First of all, Jane, I think, was it 27 years ago or something like that, maybe? Um, I came into your office and, you know, this little scouse lad who had this dream and kind of this ambition, and you went, okay, let's look at a five-year plan. And I was like, wow, all right. <laughs> so thank you so much for believing in me and supporting me from the very beginning. It really means the world to me. And I'm not just saying that. You know how much I love you. Um, and, that, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart and all the team, Maddie and everyone and all the girls, thank you so much and to Ben um, and my mum and dad, do you know what I mean? I'm a little mixed lace kid from a block of flats in Kirby um, and I said to me ma and Zah one day, I think I want to be a proper actor <laughs> and my dad went okay and my mum went fine and they supported me through thick and thin, my mum my mum put me on the train, she came with me up to London, we went, you know, when I was in the National Youth Theatre and I'll never forget those beautiful times I spent with my ma on that train, it's a long journey. Um, and just, you know, we'd stay in little hotels and stuff like that and it was just the dedication and the commitment that my mum and dad gave to me inspired me throughout my life um, and not forgetting, thank you. Uh, My missus, my missus, Hannah, who's my rock, my soulmate, um, who, who has believed in me when I didn't believe in myself, who's picked me up off the ground many and many a time. I wouldn't be here today, literally. I mean that from another level if it wasn't for you. You are my world and I love you to bits. Uh, my kids are Grace and Alfie, you know. I'm a very blessed man, I have two beautiful children. They take the piss, they laugh at me all the time. But that's what kids are for. And if it wasn't for our Grace and Hannah and Jane, I wouldn't have put that silly green wig on for that film. So, thank you. Um, and Alfie, I adore him. Uh, my friends and family, Leon, you know how much I love you. My friends and family, I was gonna pack this in after this is England. I couldn't get a job for eight months. So if you're out of work, don't worry, keep trying. Um, <laughs> And I was going to become a youth worker because I made films with the kids in the local village next to us, you know what I mean? And, and, we made, and it was just watching them be inspired by writing scripts and filming and doing the sound and everything. And I was, I was literally going to pack it in. Um, and on the day I was going to go for the final interview, Jane phoned me up and I got an audition. And it was one of them moments. Uh, and I went for the audition. And thankfully, things progressed. Um, I'd also just like to thank all the actors and actresses I've ever worked with for your... Beautiful generosity um, and your kindness and your dedication and your care to the craft, especially you, Joe. Do you know how much I love you to bits? And Hannah, I love working with you as well. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's so many actors and actresses who I've worked with and I've been very blessed to work with people from, well, you know, loads of different kind of people. Brad Pitt and people, Brad Pitt and all that, do you know what I mean? Um, DiCaprio and all them lads and all that. Um, quite a few, Johnny Depp and people like, yeah, yeah. Um, so a few, a few, a few, but also beautiful Thomas Tergoose, you know what I mean, who will always hold a place in my heart. Um, and and I, I'd like to thank all the crews I've ever worked with, you know what I mean, from the chippies to the painters to the drivers, the sparks, you know, the costume department, the, the sound department, the editors. And do you know what? And, and he, do you know what? Next time when you go to work, you fucking facility fellas, they're there well before you and they leave well after you. Just say hello to them. Do you know what I mean? Ask them, did he want a brew? Um, because, look, to me, this, you know, it's not a game of footy, this. It, there shouldn't be winners or losers. Do you know, every single one of you that are here tonight, and especially those that are nominated and those that win, congratulations, well done. But those that don't win, you're still fucking sat on that seat because of what you've done. Do you know what I mean? It's an achievement in itself. The odds are stacked well against you. So, um, 
yeah, I think that's everyone. I would just like to finish with this. And I promised I wouldn't go, and I won't go. Um, this is for me, Ma. Um, I lost my mum last year. Uh, and she would have been sat on that table there, and she would have been speaking to Ray Winston because she loved you, Ray. So <laughs> she would have been, you'd have had a laugh with me, Ma. She'd have had a couple of glasses with you, and you'd have had a lovely time. Um, but my mum, like I said, you know, it was just me and my ma for a little bit of time there for the first 10 years before I met Pops and he came into our life. So my mum was a strong, beautiful woman who inspired me with everything I have today. And she made me believe, she made me dream. Um, and in the words of what's her name, Gabrielle, dreams can come true. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you.